Hey everyone, I'm Adam Harry with JR. We're from Bell Lost Souls, and today we've got Loon Curse. What? Loon Curse Battle by the Light of the Bad Moon. I'm um, pretty excited, JR. I am as well. This is some sweet squigs on grots on wood elf action, or Sylvaneth, I guess, is what they are. Yeah, officially. Um, it is actually grots on squigs. Yeah. On fighting, fighting, fighting the Sylvaneth. The Sylvaneth. Yeah. Which is uh, pretty cool. We've got uh, two new models. Mm -hmm. The uh, the the goon, goon boss. Loon boss. Loon boss. He's a goon. He is a goon. He's a goblin loon. He's a goon. He's a goon. Yeah, no, nah, you're, you're <laughs> the right. The loon boss on a, on a giant squig. And then also uh, the new arch uh, revenant here. Which, right. these are the only two new models. But what's cool about this box is it's a really good deal. Yeah, you get a ton of stuff. On the Sylvaneth side, you get the arch revenant, you get ten tree revenants, and you get three Kerna hunters. Yeah. By the way, and, and Kernoth Hunters are pretty They're solid. They're pretty, pretty yeah, spicy. Pretty cool looking too. And again, the Loon Boss on the giant cave squig. Uh, ten cave squigs and two or hers. And then five uh, Bing Rock Bounders combined. Uh, there's also five squig hoppers. And you can kind of build whatever you want because those right. are the, essentially the same kit. So let's go ahead and dive in, dude. Yeah. All right, flip this bad boy. Oh, Stop. Here we go. Faces. Ooh, bubble wrap. We don't wrap. need to see those. Yeah, or bubble wrap. We, we know what those are. Let me turn this this way. I'm just going to be quietly trying to pop it, but it's the unpoppable kind. Cause... <laughs> so we've got one sprue here. Those look like uh, obviously grots. Those are grots. Those are those are some of the squigs. Uh, these... More squig faces. Yeah. Now there are a couple uh, because they they have the um, yeah. they, they they have the the multiple uh, boing grot bounder slash right. squig hopper kits. There. I think these two sprues are the same, and yep. then this is a, a third one with some some spiky bits of squigs chomping yeah. bouncing killing everything this yeah. one's got pipes embedded in it which is awesome and that's essentially all of the uh the gobos here mm -hmm. now we do have one other gobbo which we will show off right now which is the uh loon boss on the giant case and this is a brand new one i yeah. want to zoom in here look at that a real good look, look at, at that it. detail yeah uh, this is really cool what I well, so there's there's two things that I can that see faces. that I love uh, so much about this. Yes, the, the faces, as you point out, like are just so like both of the of the the loon boss and the squig. Like you can yeah. see where he's going, but also look at how tiny his legs are. <laughs> like he has a little tiny legs. <clears throat> he does, and also uh, like little chicken legs. This this spear is is really cool looking. Yeah. Uh, next up, let's take a look at the Sylvaneth items. Let's start with the Arch Revenant here, since right. we just uh, busted out the, the Loon Boss here. And again, this guy is crazy. He's got the moth wings, I guess. Yes. Uh, now, what, what's real interesting is that uh, those wings aren't a part of him. They're a part of one of the uh, the little sprites. Oh. Uh, so, like, if you see this bit right here. Yeah, which was actually one of the rumor engines. Yeah. yeah. Uh, that is that is called a Zephyr Spite. Uh, and that's that's what the wings go on to, oh. and that thing carries him, and he fights with that. So he fights with this this glaive, and then the the, the stinging pinchers attack Very as cool. well. Yeah, it's we'll, really cool. We'll actually take a look at the the rules here in a sec. So that's that kit. Uh, next up, we have the uh, Kernoff Hunters. I'm gonna zoom out again. This is not a new kit, but it's the full uh, sprue for the Kernoff. It Hunter, is, yeah, which these, is nice. These aren't like easy to builds or anything no. like that. They're they're the full kit. Yeah. So uh, you get all the options. You get the sword. You get the stab. Steve. You get the bows. You get the bows. Whatever, however you want to build them, uh, you can do that. So I mean, again, it's it's bows. Yeah. Bows for days. Well. Gotta, gotta get that. Gotta get that base. <laughs> oh. Uh, <laughs> I see what you did there. Uh, uh, first off, uh, next up is the. Uh, um, these are the uh, tree revenants. Yep. There's one sprue. There's two sprues. Bum, 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 bum. I believe these are the same sprues. Yeah, they're the actually, same sprues. So. so. There's those two, which we we have seen before. And, and then, then, of course, the last uh, Kernoff Hunter. There he goes. Which was a, not attached to the other one for some reason. So oh, right. you get all of them. <laughs> That's everything uh, in terms of sprues. Now, now, back to the box. What else do we have? What else is in here? So we've got the uh, cool the, the little separator. insert art separator Ooh, thing. Hang that uh, up. It's on the cover. All right. Uh, a couple more bases. more bases. Those are probably for, for the, the, the heroes. heroes. Yeah. Uh, and then we have the Wound Curse. Uh, which uh, books we're gonna go ahead and pause real fast and open these up we've got the plastic wrap off real fast so uh, we're gonna go through these backwards I guess we have the um, war scrolls for all of the units um, and I think actually do we have the loon boss here's the two new models we'll go ahead and cover these real fast um, yeah 
Yeah, we've got the the war the, the so blue the, boss on the giant cave squig. There's there's nothing different about him than the one that you'll find in the uh, the battle tome for the, the gloom spike gets. Yeah, um, just the, a new model. It's just a new model, yeah. a really cool looking new model uh, yeah. that that we're excited to see. The arch remnant is the the new model, new rules guy. Yeah, uh, who has his uh, is a fairly uh, uh, tough creature with five wounds and a four up four up save. Um, he can fly thanks to the the Zephyr yep. Spite with a twelve inch move too, so yeah. he's moving pretty quick. Um, but really, what you'll want him for is he he makes your Kurnoth hunters amazing. You get to reroll hit rolls of ones uh, while they're within twelve inches of his model. Uh, that's the, of the pretty model. saucy. Yeah, that's that's pretty spicy. Uh, and then um, once per battle, you can do the ultimate sacrifice. Uh, when you allocate a wound or mortal wound to this model, you can choose to negate it. If you do, the model cannot use fly. As it's Zephyr Spite's tail pincers attack, or it's Zephyr Spite's uh, Zephyr oh, Spite. Oh, because because yeah. you you killed the his bug friend instead. Bug That's kind of sad. Hit. Yeah, it's very touching. I'm I'm moved. And then also, of course, his command ability is call to battle. Uh, you can use that ability at the start of the combat phase. If you do pick one friendly Sylvaneth unit uh, within nine inches of him, or wholly within. within. Uh, wholly within nine inches, or wholly within twelve inches of a friendly model. That I if he's your general, yep. add one to the attack's characteristics to of their melee weapons in that combat phase. Yeah. So uh, you can just turn Basically, up the murder machine. Yeah, exactly. So you get the war scroll cards again for all the units in here. You also get the instructions. Yeah, uh, for, the, for all the, the units. The rest of the War Scroll cards, oh, yes. by the way, they yeah, are they all here. Are all you get there. the fancy ones. So, yep. Uh, you get the instructions for each of the units, including yep. the, the the two new ones. Yep. We don't have to go through those. To go through. Everybody... You, you know what they look like. They they're also blue, they're yellow. They're full. They're, they're yep. full color. Yep. Yes, there is no no shortage of ways to get the rules for your models in this box. Uh, we also have the uh, punch outs here for tokens and such. There's also range finders, aka little you rulers. You get cavens and Tanglethorn thickets. Yep. So. There you go. Uh, here is the core rules for Which, Age of Sigmar. This again, th uh, by the way, this is just the full core rules for the game. Everything, Everything you need. To know. Yep. Yep. And then uh, finally, the, the Loon Curse book. This is a forty-page uh, kind of soft cover run through. Yeah. It's going to break down like why, what's going on. Uh, it's, it's got lore like yeah. setting up the realm, setting up both of the armies. It's like a and mini then, battle tone, really. Yeah, and then talking about like what's what's going on. Yeah. It's also got some great art. Yeah, uh, and then you'll get some new battle plans for each of these. Uh, I like I like this one right here. Uh, let's, let's flip station? back. Yeah, let's show it off because I think it's got oh, a cool rampage. Rampage. Yeah, it's got yeah. A, it's got a pretty cool setup. So you're playing with a with the the Squigglelange lore scroll in this battle plan. Okay. Uh, so basically. It, it, if you are the Sylvaneth, you're holding this off. If you are the uh, Moon Clan, you're just swarming you're just on, swarming just in. swarming, swarming, swarming. Ah, cool. So it's kind yeah. of a fight to the death. Yeah, with, it's 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 pretty yeah. sweet. How long can you hold type of deal? Exactly. So you've got different battle plans in there as well. They're kind of narrative driven. Uh, <laughs> we've got some war scrolls in there. We've got the rules in there once again, and there will also be points at the back uh, for all of these things, which is very handy so very handy that is everything in loon curse battle by the light of the bad moon uh, again the new battle box yeah. for warhammer Age uh, of the Sigma. bad moon is rising and i feel trouble on the way so uh, yeah <laughs> i can't wait to play this i'm super excited to try yeah. out these uh the sylvaneth yeah and we already know the price for this box is 160 us so that's a great that's deal. a great deal if you're splitting this with a buddy it's 80 bucks a pop and you basically get more than you would in a start collecting box. So so it's totally worth it. So, get on that. Yeah, go check it out. I'm Adam Harry. I'm JR. We're from Bell Lost Souls. Thanks for watching. Click to subscribe. Check out more videos. And thanks for watching.